Hello and welcome to Teachings in Education, Google Plus. The top 10 tasks completed fast, fast, fast. And this is for those interested in becoming a Google certified level one educator. Number one, use the home stream. So now we're gonna take a quick look at the, the home stream and how we could use it. So here are some posts for different topics that I've selected that I'm interested in, uh, different collections that I follow, communities that I'm in. So you can scroll down, you'll see a bunch of different posts. And let's look at the first one right here, the third one, National Geographic Education. So if you'd like to share this, you could click on this icon right here. And maybe you would like to share this. For example, I could share this to one of my collections whether it be a special education background, a teacher interview prep, or something like that. Um, Number two, connect with people. Now, let's say you want to connect with people. Again, here we are at the home stream, and you can scroll down, and you'll see posts from different people. Um, for example, uh, this person right here just, uh, or this person right here just uh, posted something. So I could click on their profile and simply press follow. And now I'm following them. That's one way to connect. If you see a post of something you like, you could also search for people. So I could search for, let's say, uh, somebody I know. For example, um, Anthony, this chef right here. Anthony Bourdain, and we could press follow. And that's another way to connect with someone. Number three, create a circle. Now let's say you want to uh, create a circle, you would go to people, go to following, which we're on, scroll down, you'll see some of the circles that I've created, and at the very bottom you should see here new circle, I'll click this, and call this uh, Friday circle, because today is Friday, create. And here you have it, Friday Circle. I notice that it's uh, empty. Number four, add people to the circle. Now let's say I want to add some people to this Friday Circle. I would simply go up to somebody here. So we'll choose an individual person that we want to add to the circle and click on following. So I'll click on following. And then if I want to add them to a circle, I could just move them here. Done. And now they're moved to Friday circle. If you go down, here goes Friday circle at the very bottom and you'll see that this person was added to Friday circle number five commenting in Google Plus now let's say you want to comment in Google Plus you can go to a post on your home stream as I said earlier click here and add a comment It says, without emotional intelligence, mindfulness doesn't exist. And I'll make a comment. May forget what someone said to you, but you will never forget how someone made you feel. And I'll post that. So that's one way to post a comment. Number six, 
create a collection. Now, let's say you would like to create a collection, which is basically like just a collection of posts and things like that. You would go to profile. And here is my profile. And if you take a look down here, it says create a collection. So I'll create a collection. And you would name it first. So we'll name this Google Plus for Google Educator Collection. Do I want to make this visible to the public? Let's just say only me for now. And if you want to add a tagline for learning Google Plus, press create. And here it is. And here's the collection. Okay. Number seven, post on a collection. It's been created and you can add a post. This is the first post. And remember, you can add pictures, you can add links, polls, location, but we'll just post this one for now. Number eight, edit a collection. Now, let's say you want to go back and you want to edit uh, an older collection. Again, you go to profile. You can take a look at your collections here. And here's one of my original collections I want to go back to. Um, teacher interview. And if I'd like to edit this, I would click this little three dot icon right here and you'll go to edit collection and you can change the, the tagline you can change the color um, let's make it uh, oranges save there you could also let me just go back real quick you could also add an image upload a photo and um, if you'd like to delete a collection too, you can press this right here. It's going to ask you, are you sure? Number nine, join a community. Now, let's say you'd like to join a Google Plus community. Simply go over here with these little uh, three dots and a circle on it. Click on communities. And these are the communities down here that I'm already a part of. And if I want to join a new community, I'll click Discover Mirror, uh, Discover More. And here are a bunch of different communities. Uh, let's see Strategic Social Networking. Let's open this up. Take a look at it. Okay. And if I'd like to join, I simply press the Join button down here. Join. And it's that simple. I'm a member. Number 10, create communities. Now let's say I'd like to create my own community in Google Plus. Again, I'll go to communities. And as soon as I press communities, I'll see right down here this green plus that says new community. Click on that. And let's name this community um, Teachers Plus. And do I want to make this public? Private. We'll say only invited members. Is it visible in the search? Um, yeah. Let's let's make it. Uh, uh, let's take that off. And we'll go to Done. And here's the community that we created: Teachers for Google Plus. And you can moderate that community. Um, you'd have to add members and things like that, right? Number 11, 